Hello, and thank you for checking out my package for GameMaker Studio. With this package, you can import your own 3D models and use them in your platforming or top-down game. Included in this package are three examples of types of games that you can make. In this one, we have a game where you can control the camera with the arrow keys, with the mouse, and you can zoom in and out. There's also a platforming example with jump through blocks. And there's also a top-down example with a 3D object for the player. Also implemented in this package is a pause menu, which includes resolution and window mode options. Now let's go through step-by-step step how to use this package. The first thing we're going to want to do is decide on the size of our object. Let's say I'm going to make a basic cube. The size all depends on the game that you're making. Let's just say this one will be a width of 128 and a height of 64. Let's just color this in. And we're going to want to determine what our origin is. Right now, let's just say it's center. Now open the 3D modeling program of your choice. I will be using Autodesk Maya, but you can use anything that can export OBJs. The dimensions of my object are equal to the sprite that we just created, with one unit in your program being equal to one pixel. Now if you see the grid in your 3D program, the origin point should be equal to the origin point of your sprite. Now let's say we changed our mind. We actually don't want our origin to be in the center, but we want it to be in the bottom left. So we just need to go back into our program, and we are going to move it accordingly. Right there, as if the origin in the modeling program is equal to the origin of our sprite. But actually, before we export, in order for GameMaker to read it correctly, you have to mirror it on the x-axis. So the x-axis will actually be the opposite before you export. Once you've done that, go ahead and select your object, name it. I'm just going to call it box. And then when you go back into GameMaker, Open your included files, and then you are going to want to find the file wherever you saved it. Here it is, and then open it. Next thing you're going to do is to tell GameMaker where to find your object, and that will be in this room, Initialize open the creation code under the settings tab and we were going to use these ones here as a base so let's call it global.box but it can be whatever you want equals ser underscore get mesh and then this is going to be the name of the object here so in this case it will be box.obj and then just complete this there we go. But there's one more thing that you're going to need, and that will be the texture. Your texture will need to be a multiple of two, such as 128 by 128, 256 by 256, 512 by 512, etc. And once you have the texture for your object, you will need to make sure it is checked used for 3D, and once you import it, you will also need to flip it vertically. This is also so that GameMaker reads it correctly. Now how to actually put the object into your room. So it will of course be as an object. Uh, let's use this one for example. This is where you put in your texture, and this will be the file name of your texture, which will be in the backgrounds folder. And then in the draw event, this is where you put the variable name of your object. So if we were using the box, in the creation code of the room, I called it box. 
so that's what it's going to be, or no, it's just global.box, so that's what it will be here. Now hopping back into the 3D program, we are looking through the front here, and if you can't see this box, you want to make sure you're in legacy default viewport, and you want to go to heads up display and make sure that view cube is selected. So we're looking at it from the front, and this right here is a platform for a platforming game. You can see that the top of the platform is lined up with the grid, and this is the front, or rather, you know, the part that you can see when you're looking at the game. So if I open up something else, let's see, and here's the same thing. So here's ground in my platforming game, and here is an obstacle. And if we are looking at this example, you can see here's a room. So again, looking through the front, the grid here is where the floor is, or at least this is how it's how it is according to my origin. But if your origin of your sprite is in the center, it might look a little different. So you're gonna to want to experiment. If your game is top down, let's imagine that you're looking at this room from top down. So what you would be seeing is the floor of your room. In that case, you just need to rotate it this way so that you would see the floor.